Exactly. We're learning a lot more tonight about the moments just before and after the explosion of that Virgin Galactic rocket plane four days ago over the California desert. While the co-pilot was killed, the pilot was able to get out and survive. Once again, on that story tonight, Jacob Rascone in the Mojave Desert. Jacob, good evening. Brian, good evening. It is almost unbelievable that anybody could survive a rocket plane crash at the speed of sound. But new information from sources close to the investigation make Peter Siebold's story of survival even more astonishing. Sources close to the investigation of the failed Virgin Galactic test flight tell NBC News at 45,000 feet after co-pilot Michael Osbury prematurely unlocked the plane's tails or feathers and they deployed. The space plane actually broke up around the pilots, thrusting them at the speed of sound into an atmosphere with almost no oxygen. And sources confirm the pilots had no oxygen supply of their own outside the aircraft. Both crewmen were wearing parachutes, but only pilot Peter Siebold was able to deploy his. Investigators theorize either Osbury's parachute failed or he blacked out and was never able to deploy it. The NTSB now says wreckage from Spaceship Two landed as far as 35 miles away from the original debris field. In a statement released today, Virgin Galactic founder Richard Branson praised the company's 400 engineers and technicians and says, while this is a tragic setback, we are moving forward and will do so deliberately and with determination. One industry watcher says this accident, while tragic, will not cripple the drive to space tourism. I think the industry can recover. There will be a, a much more attention now on both uh, how these vehicles are built from uh, an engineering standpoint and a regulation standpoint. And when investigators finally do interview Siebold, they hope to learn more about why Alsbury pulled that lever. Meantime, the company that employed both pilots has started a memorial fund for Alsbury, which in two days has already met its goal of $100,000. Brian? Jacob Rascone in the Mojave Desert tonight, Jacob.